So, hello, welcome back everybody. Today our series Tool and Talk continues with this little thing in my hand. It's the Stefix Bell Puller and we are receiving a lot of questions every day and um, I would say let's go find Sasha and see if he can answer a few of them. Hi Sasha. Oh, oh you're not supposed to see that yet. So is it January already? Or, uh, okay, I think we have, yeah, I think we are a little bit late with the next video. Um, sorry for that. We had a lot to do. We are working on a lot of new products and unfortunately we didn't have enough time to do the videos. So we hope to do the videos somewhat regularly again. And I think you had a topic to talk about today. Yes, exactly. We want to talk about the Civic Bell Puller and we have a lot of questions for you. The first question is, how and when did the idea of the Civic Bell Puller begin? When exactly, I'm not sure. I think it was somewhere before 2000, so 1986 was the foundation of the company. We produced the Civic and I think like uh, seven or ten years later we started to do the Bell Puller. The idea was just to improve on the CFIX idea, to make it easier to use and to make it um, less painful if you don't use it correctly. With the uh, original CFIX you had the problem that you have two screws and depending on how you would screw them and if you would do something wrong you would break the screw of the tool. So with um, the change to the bell puller we wanted to do it in one screw and to make sure that it's easier to use. Okay, thank you. I think let's go to the production and take a look where and how everything is produced. So I'm a little bit sorry for the mess. We are preparing a fair right now. I think you are going to the fair. No, no. Sophie is going yes. to the fair. Yes, exactly. So the production is already empty. So at this time, most people of the production are already going home or not? There is. All good. This is the production area. I think we showed this before in a different video. And um, the bell puller is basically turned on the turning machine, then later put on the milling machine for finishing. This is how it started. By now we have the problem that we have to produce so many that we have to give a few parts outside. We have a partner in Germany who produces a few of our parts to make sure that we still have the uh, capacity to produce smaller series. If we wouldn't do this, we couldn't produce tools in quantities of tens. We would only produce a bell puller and the complete machinery would only be here for producing bell pullers and crackers. So you told us that in 1970 or what was the year? 1997 around, I think, ish. I'm not completely sure. It could be uh, roughly around the 2000 the bell puller was started. Yeah, so I think something has changed over the years. Maybe you can tell us something about that have changed. Um, the main part that have changed is uh, the um, sweat inside. Before we used always an M12 sweat, which is a very common sweat. Um, but because of the force needed to destroy the locks, we have changed from an M12 to an M14 and even to a special type of M14, also specially hardened to survive this power. Um, with that, uh, I think also some other manufacturers are still using the M12 thread, but we have completely changed to the M14 thread, which is also needed for the pitbull screws if you are pulling locks in Switzerland, for example. Very interesting. I think not all of us knew that. So what about, what do you exactly do with the Civic Spell Puller? Do you have some examples of use for us? Sure. Um, you can use the bell puller to just snap the lock into parts. So you pull on the lock so that it's getting snapped into parts and you can use a metal key or plastic key to open the door or you can use the bell puller to pull out the core of the lock and then use a screwdriver to open the lock. And how do you know that you have to use the Cfix bell puller and not for example the classic Cfix? What is the best time to use the Cfix bell puller? Um, the Cfix bell puller can be used instead of the original Cfix. So they are both a product which fills the same needs. 
the only thing is if you are a firefighter for example if you are a new locksmith you would prefer the bell puller because it's easier to use uh, you have less problems with uh, making errors and uh, the original c-fix we basically mainly produce for the uh, um, clients that are around with our company for more than 30 years now uh, because we don't think it's it's nice towards them if you would say we stopped the original c -fix. you can only buy the bell puller now no we have to give the support and we are able to change the tool so also we are offering if the original c -fix getting broken at one point you can send it to us and for a smaller price you can get a new one um, with the bell puller we do this sometimes but not, not the complete time um, also with a bell puller when we change to the m14 uh, thing i forgot to say before uh, for the m14 thread we increased the uh, warranty on the device so now we have five years warranty on all internal parts and 10 years warranty on the housing just as an example from what makes our bell puller different to the bell pullers of other productions uh, it's mainly because we believe in the product and we know it will withstand very long time. Okay, so we have one final question, but maybe we should go to our seminar room so you can show us some examples. So what is the question? So what accessories are available and when are they important? So you have the screwdriving adapter, uh, which is normally used for the first screw to pull it in very properly, to have it aligned very, uh, like a 90 degree angle to the cylinder. If you don't have a good angle, we say about every three degrees, we are uh, out of 90 degrees. We are losing about uh, one to two, uh, uh, sorry, five percent of pulling power. So we want to have it very straight, and this is why we have developed the screw driving adapter to have it as straight as possible. The next thing is to use some kind of oil and lubricant to make it easier to screw, uh, pull the, uh, put the screw in. Um, this will also avoid damage on the screw while putting it in. And then when you use the bell puller, it's very important to use the washers as well. The washers are there to, um, to transfer the power on the screw from the bell very evenly and to avoid breaking the screws. Thank you guys for listening. This was our video about the Civics Bell Puller. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And here you can see our last video and see you in the next video.